Now, what should you do if a guy hits on the woman you're dating in front of you? You punch him in the goddamn mouth. Now, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Contrary to popular belief, I don't think you should insult this person or get aggressive or try to like instigate a fight to defend your woman's honor. I think those are some of the worst actions you can take. And I want to give you much better solutions if you find yourself in this situation in the future. So I get why a lot of people tell you to stand up for yourself in those moments. You don't want to look weak in front of the woman you're dating. You want to make sure that somebody's not crossing your boundaries. And in your mind, you actually think this is going to de-escalate the situation. But this advice misses real world consequences that I've seen happen way too many times. Let me give you a real example. I was out one night a few years ago at a club in Boston and I was just kind of hanging out and I remember seeing this couple nearby and they were dancing and doing their own thing. Now at some point another guy at the club just walks over and tries to hit on the woman that's in the couple and the guy who's with her he's a pretty big dude so he stands up for himself. He gets in the other guy's face they're kind of having a verbal argument and eventually the guy that walked up to them walked away and I thought nothing of it. Now a little while later I'm kind of winding down and I start walking out and ahead of me is that couple exiting the building first. The guy who walked up to them and originally tried to hit on the couple was waiting outside with two of his friends and in a split second they grabbed the guy away from his girl and they started beating the shit out of him. And I'm not just talking about a little beating. Let me paint a picture. I remember they actually got him to the ground. They started slamming his head against the concrete. One dude runs up and kicks him in the face and probably busted out a bunch of teeth and then at some point soon after I watched them grab the guy by the hair on the ground and actually rip parts of his hair off his scalp where he's bleeding lying in the street. That image of that dude lying in the street was burned into my mind for years. And that's my point. There's always somebody stronger. Maybe not physically stronger, but maybe they're waiting outside with a bunch of friends or they're bringing some kind of weapon like a knife or a gun. Or like I've also seen a couple of times, maybe while they're at the party or the bar, they take a beer bottle and just smash it over your head. Do you think that guy who's now lying in the street with his face probably disfigured for life thinks it's worth it that he stood up to a random drunk dude at a bar? So instead, let me give you three tactics that I've used successfully for 14 years when going out at night. First, I will kill him with kindness and then tell him we gotta get back to something. Basically, if somebody walks over and tries to talk to us, I'll give him 15 or 30 seconds where I'm like, hey, how you doing tonight, man? I'll look him in the eyes, I'll be super friendly, cheers, what's going on, what are you up to, who are you with? And just treat them like a person. And what this does is kind of disarm them, right? Because if they are coming over for nefarious reasons, they're expecting you to get touchy or defensive or kind of push back. And instead, I'm just cool as a cucumber. To the woman you're with, you look like a secure, confident guy, and he looks like a drunk, disrespectful nuisance. And so shortly after some basic pleasantries, I will say, hey man, it was really nice meeting you, but we actually were in the middle of something and we're gonna get back to it. Or hey, we're actually on a little bit of a romantic night out, so maybe we'll catch you around. And then I'll just kind of turn my body language to the woman I'm with and pick back up where we left off. Now, most of the time, this is all you're gonna need. A guy might linger for a few extra seconds, but slowly he's gonna get the hint. He's not really fired up, angry. You both are kind of doing your own thing and he'll just go to somebody else. But there are moments, especially when the guy is really drunk, where he'll keep being persistent. And this leads me to my second tactic where you just politely shut him out and ignore him. I will just keep my body language face towards the woman I'm with and will continue talking as if he's not there and we don't even hear him. This is basically the don't feed the trolls advice. This guy is trying to see if he can poke for any weakness or just try to persist and see if either of you will crack. Now he might try to keep engaging you for 10, 20 seconds or so, but after he realizes that he's not getting a reaction from either of you, most guys start to feel a little awkward. They even start to feel self-conscious or they just get frustrated and then they leave. Now, of course, there is that really rare circumstance where a guy just does not give up, he does not want to relinquish control, and he wants to try to dominate the situation. Now, in that instance, use my third and final tactic, which is to lead and relocate with her. This is where you need to suggest going somewhere else with her. And you can lean in and kind of whisper to her, hey, let's go grab a drink over at the bar, or this guy's being a little weird, let's go move somewhere else. Of course, if you're going to say something like weird or creeper, please do it subtly under your breath and make sure that only she can hear you. And that's about it. You guys go somewhere else, you move. Hopefully this person will not follow you. If they do, unfortunately, I do think you have to leave the venue in really extreme situations. Now, again, this is not a weak move. This is actually taking the high road as a self-confident individual, because otherwise you let somebody bring you down or you take their attacks personally, when instead you should just realize that they're projecting their own shit onto you and you're better than that. And more than that, a quality woman wants you to take those actions too. 
She's not gonna want you to end up in the ER. She's not gonna entertain that flirting and wanna engage with them. And in fact, she's gonna be happy that you got out of there as fast as possible. And if you are dating somebody who likes that attention from other men while you're out and will flirt back, then maybe you need to have another conversation. Do you wanna build more confidence with beautiful women? Then check out this video here. Give it a click. It's worth it, I promise.